Is healing the gut the real key to fighting aging? What if the fountain of youth is right under our noses or our shirts? For those of you who don't know me, I am Kelsey Ale. I am a certified nutritional therapist. I am a best-selling healthy cookbook author and I'm a gut health specialist at KelseyAle.com. I work one-on-one -on -one with clients to help them heal their guts and resolve chronic issues like digestive disorders, chronic illness, and mood disorders using food and food-based supplements. And I post a new video here every week sharing tips with you for how to heal your gut naturally. So if this is something that's interesting to you or something that feels relevant, definitely make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the phenomenon of inflammaging and how it relates to gut health and what you can do to reduce your risk of chronic disease and age more gracefully because I think ultimately that's what we all want. Now, it doesn't matter how old you are or where you are on your health journey, this video is relevant to you if you are a human on planet Earth who wants to feel as good as possible for as long as possible, and it all starts in your gut. Over the past two decades, it's been revealed that as we age, our microbiome changes, and these changes lead to an increased risk of chronic disease, diseases like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, some types of cancer, and even neurological disorders. Increased inflammation, increased intestinal permeability, aka leaky gut, and decreased immune function are both the result and the cause of these shifting microbiome circumstances that lead to chronic disease. And there's a new term for the process, which is Inflammaging. Inflammaging is essentially chronic inflammation that rapidly accelerates aging. And part of what happens during this process is that certain receptors in our body become less selective about what they detect. These receptors become more sensitive to compounds in our body and they begin to initiate inflammatory immune responses more and more easily. And this ultimately leads to chronic inflammation and the cascade of disease states that I just mentioned. And this affects all the tissues in our body, including our skin. So when whether it is for health or for vanity, please take a minute to pay attention to the information that I'm about to share with you. Inflammation impacts our tissues by causing swelling and by breaking down damaged tissue so it can be removed to make room for fresh, healthy tissue. And this process is meant to happen in short bursts and only occasionally. But when this process happens on a regular basis, you start to develop chronic inflammation, which leads to a constant breakdown of tissue without giving your body a chance to regenerate and rebuild. And this leads to deterioration in all of our bodily tissues. So what exactly are the things that are causing this chronic inflammation that leads to inflammaging? Well, part of this is just due to the aging process itself. You see, aging is actually a biological phenomenon, and as civilization progresses, our lifespans increase more and more. And this isn't something we necessarily evolved for, because in the past, the average age span was between 30 and 50 years old, and nowadays we're living into our 70s and 80s on a regular basis. So again, it's unprecedented biologically, so part of this really is just the normal wear and tear of the aging process. But some of the things that are accelerating the wear and tear can be narrowed down to life style and environmental factors. And again, our gut health plays a huge role in how these factors impact us. For example, chronic inflammation is caused by our diet. When we eat processed foods with refined ingredients, we're causing low level inflammation in our body on a daily basis, which over time becomes chronic inflammation. These foods can also affect our microbiome and lead to pathogenic overgrowth and infection, which in and of themselves also contribute to inflammation. Things like refined sugar and refined vegetable oils, alcohol, and even gluten and dairy can be pro-inflammatory for some people. And think about it, we're eating these foods on a daily basis. So diet is definitely one main contributing factor to inflammaging. We're also chronically dehydrated as a population as a whole, and being dehydrated makes it so much harder for our body to flush out inflammatory compounds and toxins, which means they stay in our system and continue to recirculate, wreaking havoc, i.e. causing inflammation. And I know these things sound very basic, but the truth is solutions don't have to be complicated to be effective. 
Moving on, exposure to environmental toxins can also contribute to the process of inflammaging. And lastly, inflammaging is driven by the breakdown of the health of our gut and our microbiome. When your gut is unhealthy and your microbiome is out of whack, it can ultimately lead to inflammation, which starts to cause the breakdown of the tissues, not only of the digestive tract, but of the entire body, which is what perpetuates the process of inflammaging. On top of the inflammation, this causes when our digestive tract isn't working properly, we can't get the nutrients we need to naturally reduce inflammation and to rebuild tissues so everything is affected. So suffice to say, there are things that we are doing and exposing ourselves to in our everyday life that are exacerbating and accelerating the process of inflammaging. Lucky for us, the steps we can begin to take to fight the inflammaging process are relatively straightforward and they have to do with focusing on your gut health and focusing on your diet. Remember, solutions don't have to be complicated to be effective. First, you need to reduce the amount of processed food you're eating so you're not introducing more inflammation into your body via your diet. Instead, you should focus on whole fresh foods, preferably cooked at home if possible, just so you have more control over the ingredients. I'm gonna recommend that you avoid refined vegetable oils and re avoid refined sugars and use healthy whole food-based fats like cold pressed olive oil, avocado oil, grass-fed butter and ghee, and use sweeteners like honey and maple syrup in moderation. You also need to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water on a daily basis so your body can efficiently and effectively flush out toxins and pro-inflammatory compounds. To figure out how much water you should aim to drink every day, find your body weight in pounds, divide that number in half, and the number you're left with is the number of ounces you should drink every day to stay hydrated. So for example, a 150 pound person would need to drink 75 ounces of water to stay hydrated and make sure they're flushing out those inflammatory compounds. You need to add in fibrous foods and fermented foods to begin to rebuild and maintain a healthy microbiome, which in turn not only will help you with reducing inflammation and eliminating toxic compounds, but maintaining a healthy microbiome will also start to reinstate the health of the intestinal walls. So aim to to eat your body weight in vegetables every day, joking, but eat a lot of vegetables and add in fermented foods like sauerkraut and kimchi, yogurt, or even coconut water kefir. Stress relief and exercise should also be a part of your anti-inflammaging routine. So there you have it, a base level introduction to the concept of inflammaging and how chronic inflammation accelerates and perpetuates the aging process, and a few simple, effective tips that you can start implementing today to start fighting inflammaging in your own body. Now, if you're the kind of person who does well with a little bit more support and structure uh, to begin to rebuild a healthy gut and fight the inflammaging process, you should go ahead and click the link below this video to check out my 28-day gut health reset program. My program teaches you exactly what you need to do to reset your gut and build a healthier microbiome in just 28 days. I have included a recipe book, a meal plan, a professional supplements guide, and so much more information to help you get started on your gut healing journey. So go ahead and click the link below to get more information on that now. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. You can check out these videos next for more tips on how to heal your gut naturally. If you enjoyed this video and liked the information, let me know by hitting the likes button. Like button, <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Remember, you can always share this video with friends and loved ones. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Take care, be well, and I'll see you next week.